Thor News presents, Ceres is a planet in our inner solar system, and it probably has life. Ceres. Now lift your skirt and cough, protoplanet. Oh baby, you sure are special. How special is she? She is the only dwarf planet in our inner solar system. She is such a mystery. Hidden is her history. So special, she is one of the number one candidates in our solar system to harbor extraterrestrial life. It's so special, it's got more fresh water than planet Earth. So special, they haven't taken a new photograph of her since 2004. So special, I've started a new series about her. All right, there's a lot of weirdness around this planet. Asteroid, dwarf planet, planetoid. How special is she? The largest asteroid known to mankind. Asterisk. That asterisk is a discussion for a whole nother video. Man, the more I learn, the more I don't know. The more I have to learn. Crazy how that works. Ceres. It's a big water ice rock body estimated at 950 kilometers or 590 miles in diameter. So at this point, I gotta say, all the data is a bit. Something is rotten in Denmark. It was discovered in January 1st, 1801 by Giuseppe Piazzi. It was the first asteroid asterisk ever to be identified. But at first, it was classified as a planet. And then, here's the deal. I went to look up when it became declassified from planet to asteroid. And I couldn't find that information. Which was pretty bizarre. So it's like, they don't want us talking about Ceres at all. It says the Syrian surface is probably a mixture of water, ice. That sounds like life. Various hydrated minerals such as carbonates. That sounds like life. And clays. That sounds like life too. Sounds like a lot of life. Maybe that's why they named her after the goddess of plants, harvest, motherly love, growth, and the environment. Because it has a lot of plants, growth, environment, atmosphere, and motherly love. Why are they not taking a photograph of it for 2000, since 2004? Nine years. Might have life. Has a lot of water. Okay, let's not take a photograph of it for nine years. That is weird. It appears to be differentiated into a rocky core and icy mantle and may harbor an ocean of liquid and water underneath its surface. I've got some alternative names for Ceres. In 1943, it was called X-13, which is weird. The classification of Ceres has changed more than once and has been the subject of disagreement. Ceres was given a planetary symbol and listed in such astronomy books for a half of a century. And then somehow, just like Pluto got demoted, earlier before, Ceres got demoted, so it's like Ceres got demoted, and then Pluto got demoted, and then Ceres got promoted to dwarf planet, I think, in 2006. That's some crazy crap, man. NASA continues to refer to Ceres as an asteroid, but it is kind of like, a, it, it's also been called a minor planet, a small solar system body, a dwarf planet. Here's the weirdest thing. A, it doesn't look like just a giant rock like Vesta does. It has strange colors. There's a bright spot on it that is uncertain. And what I think is the weirdest, weirdest, weirdest thing is we haven't gotten any new data on this thing. We haven't gotten any new pictures since 2004. Do you think we were waiting a long time for Ison to get new stuff? We haven't gotten new photos on this thing for nine years. Why do you think that is? Why would they not show us new photographs with the Magic Hubble? I mean, I'm sure they have a series filter to where their photographic ability would have improved, right? Like, they could have taken a better photograph than nine years ago, 2004. That's really weird. It's estimated the mantle has 200 million cubic kilometers of water, which is more than the fresh water on Earth. And what comes along with fresh water? Life. The series may have an atmosphere. It's got a ton of water, maybe atmosphere. They think it's a surviving protoplanet. <laughs> Part one of series. Series the series. All right, yeah, this is gonna be the series the series. The series is a newfound magical mystery that I have stumbled upon, you know, and I'm creeped out. Why haven't we got a new photograph since like 2004? That is weird. I mean, that is like, what the heck? Okay, so it may have life. It's got a ton of water and atmosphere. It's named after the goddess of nature and environment. And they won't show us any new pictures for nine years. It's it's a new planet in our solar system. I mean, it's we get great photos of Mars. We get great photos of Jupiter. But somehow we can't get great photos of this. We can't even get improved photographs. I'm not even making a lot of jokes because this is seriously creepy and weird. I mean, like, whoa, what the F? Hey, hey I know that the Dawn satellite spacecraft is going to Ceres and will be there in 2015. But that does not explain why we've had a nine-year drought of information. I am very excited to hear NASA 
or all the super science guys who scoff at my pseudoscience ship to answer that question. Like, what? Why can't you put a ca camera on it, man? What is y'all's problem? Like, this is just too weird. So, uh, okay. There, you know, looks like I got another hot potato on my hands. Didn't Boo say something about holding hot potatoes? I think he said one potato, two potato, three potato more. No, I don't think Buddha said that. Kick ass. So, yeah, what the hell, man? All right. Well, I guess it's fun watching Thor news even for me. I hope I stay alive, though. I mean, no, I can't wait, science guys. Tell me why haven't we gotten a good look at this thing? <laughs> you know, feel like I'm just repeating old crap. But, hey, this is, this is apropos for this situation, buddy. Okay, great. Man, these are strange times. I mean, it's so weird that, like, starting to have visions of, like, an avatar situation where we've already got corporations over there mining that planet and forcing them into slavery.